Hello my friends, welcome to my first video where I am going to explain some phrasal verbs. The idea is that you can remember these phrasal verbs like the, the same way that I am doing. And the idea is to have more vocabulary, to have more verbs to say a simple thing. So let's take the advantage of this coronavirus period. Let's take advantage of this uh, uh, staying at home. And let's practice some English. It's a good idea, right? So let's start with five phrasal verbs today that I want to say, and I want to learn, and I want you to also to learn these phrasal verbs. So let's start with the first one. The first one is to hang out. What is the meaning of hang out? Normally, when you hang out is that you are staying in a specific place. For example, you said, I'm just hanging out at my home. It means that you are not doing something specifically. You, stay, uh, you hang out your house because you are just like, a, you, you can go and just have a relaxed time. I'm just hanging out my home. I'm not doing something specifically, right? Or you can also say, um, I'm hanging out with my friends. Normally when you go with your friends, it's just, to talk, to, to have fun, to share experiences, to play. And just hanging out with your friends is not something specifically, right? All right, the next phrasal verb is cheer up. What is the meaning of cheer up? Normally, when people feel down, when people feel sad, you can say them, you can tell them, cheer up, come on, the problem is going to disappear. You can do it. Probably some people can feel down when they fail their exams and you can go and tell them, cheer up, it doesn't matter. Maybe the next time you are going to pass your exam. Trying to say cheer up to someone is try to motivate them to feel better. Try to make them feel happy. Like, come on, cheer up. It's a phrase that you can say to another people to enhance the, the, their emotions, right? The next phrasal verb is listen in. For example, when you are listen in, for example, imagine that on the other room, somebody is talking, right? And you go and you are trying to hear what they are saying. And you said, I'm just hearing, I'm just listen in into the room. You listen into somebody's conversation that you shouldn't, right? Or also another way to listen in is I am listen in the radio and no, it's not the same like listening, listening, not the, the ing verb. This is a phrasal verb. I am listen in the radio. I am listen in the news. You are paying attention on what they are saying, like the same way that you can hear or you can listen some somebody converse or for example, probably they are talking on the other side and you put your hair on the wall you are listening in another conversation. You shouldn't, right? The other phrasal verb is run after. So run and after. Run after, like it, say, it says, you are trying to reach something or you are running behind someone, behind someone or something. For example, you can say, I am running after my boss because I, am, I, I need to reach them or I am running after the girl that I like. You are trying to reach her. Um, or also you can say running after, like trying to reach a goal. For example, you can say, I am running after my dream to go to live to Canada. You are trying to reach something specific. The last phrasal verb is to pull back. When you go to the bank, for example, you also have the option, um, you go to the ATM, the ATM is the place where you can get some money, you can take out ATM. You go to the ATM, ATM and you withdraw your money, you take out. But also another way to say it is to pull back. That is a phrasal verb. I went to the bank to pull back my money. We have cheer up, we have hang out, pull back, listen in, and run after. These phrasal verbs you can use them in a simple sentence, 
Let me know if you can write them in a simple sentence and share it with me in the comments. And the idea is that you can learn while you are having a time, enough time on your house. So try to do some sentences or some paragraph using these five phrasal verbs and share it with me. Or also, if you don't want to type, try to practice your English with these phrasal verbs. The idea is to enhance your vocabulary or your verbs with this one. So have a good time and see you in the next video. Bye.